welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another Will I Buy It video. Now, these are so fun to film because you don't actually have to buy any makeup to make these videos, which I think makes it a win in my book. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. These videos are inspired by Samantha March, who has a similar series that she uploads every Wednesday. So if you guys want to see the real deal, just go ahead and head on over to her channel. Um, if you want to hear my opinion on some new makeup launches, just keep watching. Also you guys, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris and I upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me and I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. Now without further blabbering, let's get into it. I have some things saved on my phone. Now I just want to let you guys know that there are way more makeup launches than I can even keep up with. And there are just certain brands I don't like to mention on my channel because I feel like sometimes when you talk about stuff, you're almost like drawing more attention to it than you need to. So if you see something not mentioned on my channel, that's okay. You're going to find a million other videos with people mentioning that stuff. So anyway, I just want to throw out that little disclaimer. And if there are things that you guys want me to feature in these videos, definitely feel free to tag me on Instagram or send me a DM. I'd be happy to share my opinions with you guys. So the first thing I want to talk about is the MAC Cosmetics collab with Patrick Starr. And this is his second installment with MAC Cosmetics. From what I understand, he's going to have two more collections that launch with MAC Cosmetics, which I think is really cool. They've never done that with an influencer, from what I know, or really any of their collections. So they must really have a lot of faith in Patrick Starr. And I feel like Patrick Starr must have a really crazy following if Mac offered him like four collections. That's pretty intense. So this seems to be like the spring summer deal. I don't even really know what this, oh, it's called Floral Realness. And I think it's really cool. I think people were saying that you had to buy like a set. So like you bought a eyeshadow palette, a blush, and like a lipstick in a set. You couldn't buy things separately, which I think is interesting. I mean, a lot of people are saying that that's a really great price point. But I don't really know much about this particular collection other than like the colors. I think I was just going to comment on the colors. Did Patrick Starr do something like new? I don't think so. I mean, these colors seem to be pretty standard for what is in for spring, like the pinks and purples and stuff. I do love the packaging. I am very curious to see if some of those powder products do work with people with darker skin or like tan skin because... I have a video, I'm not sure if it's going to go up before this one or after this one, but I did film a video called Makeup Collabs by People of Color. Do they actually work on People of Color? Now in that one, I could have talked about Patrick Starr's first collection, but I think he did very like all skin tone friendly products, like the lip lipsticks were pretty like I think work kind of across the board for people. I don't think he did any face products except the powder and then the two eyeshadow palettes or something like that. So there was really not much to talk about. But in this particular collection I do see that he has some face products so I'm very very curious to see if that's going to work on my skin tone because a lot of the times I've noticed these influencers that are tanner, sometimes their face products don't really work with tan people's skin tones or like dark deep skin tones so I'm always curious about the the science behind that like why that is but yeah if you guys have any similar opinions on that I would love to hear in the comments the next thing that is coming out is the milk makeup watermelon brightening serum and I was really into this idea of the milk makeup sticks I actually thought this would make a really pretty blush so I'm a little bit confused about what a watermelon brightening serum does but it looks interesting I'm just not a big fan of the milk sticks I bought a little set at the last sale in the fall time the Sephora sale and I was really really excited but after I used a few of those products I was not very interested in them so I actually ended up returning it but I know there's a lot of people like that like that product it just was not for me and so I don't think I'll ever buy anything from milk makeup to be honest just not my favorite Sephora is coming out with a lot of different kits. The one I kind of was really curious about is the Lashes to Go kit that they're coming out with. This one has the Monsieur Big Mascara by Lancome in it and it happens to be one of my favorite formulas for high-end mascara. 
It's like a $25 mascara, so I've never actually bought the full size. I've just gotten a few samples here and there, and so I like it, and I would love to own it in a full size. Just can't bring myself to spend money on it out of my pocket, so I thought this might be a fun way to pick up that little set, use up the minis, and then get a full size of the mascara I actually really want. Next thing I see on here is Anastasia Beverly Hills is coming out with a mini matte lipstick set in pinks and reds for $21. I think doing mini lipstick sets is just very smart. I've mentioned that a few times with the Huda minis. I think those are such a great idea because let's be real, if you have a makeup collection like mine or bigger or even smaller, you have more lipsticks than you know what to do with. And so I think it's smart to have minis that are affordable. $21 is like the price of a single lipstick sometimes and we just don't need to spend that kind of money nor are half of us ever going to get through our product so I think it's smart that ABH is doing a set like this now these colors don't particularly like scream my name but I feel like there's quite a few people out there that would really enjoy this product and I think it's cool that they did that I forgot to mention this collection in my last will I buy it video but the new collection that Urban Decay is coming out with for summer it's like a, a beachy theme and they're doing an eyeshadow palette, some new eyeliners, some lipsticks and they're adding to their bl uh, bronzer line um, which I find interesting. Again, I'm just very annoyed that brands just don't seem to consider like tan skin and deep skin. Like do we not want to wear bronzer? Like I personally love bronzer and I feel like a lot of the products that have been coming out recently like a lot of the bronzers have not worked or don't seem like they would work for my skin tone so you guys let me know what you think about that but personally I just wish that when they're saying they're expanding the shade range that they would actually expand so it would include more people so that's really kind of annoying and this eyeshadow palette honestly just looks like the mini uh, the naked mini heat palette or whatever and then they just added two blue shades and now they're trying to sell that to you for $34 so I don't know, not my makeup vibes. The eyeliner pencils do look really pretty, but other than that, it's really nothing that I think you are going to need. Next launch that already happened. So excited that, you know, ColourPop like listened and they did some new, you know, single press shadows. So of course I was just like all over that the day they launched. And I'm so excited for my order. I will definitely swatch them for you when they come in. I think they did some fun mattes. I hope they add more mattes to their lineup. I just love a good single pressed eyeshadow in a matte formula because I feel like I have enough shimmers here and there, but I just, I just love a good matte and I feel like I just need every single shade. So I'm really excited. I picked up like the shade Bratty, which I'm so pumped about. And they just came out with so many freaking cool colors that I couldn't be more excited for that collection from ColourPop. They also did do some ultra satins. I'm not really into ultra satins because they do transfer and I just can't live like that. And so I don't really love their ultra satin formula. But if you guys are interested, I would definitely recommend. Buxom is coming out with a full on plumping lip polish. Sparkly beautiful colors for everyone to wear. I'm not really into lip glosses. I do have uh, one or two lip glosses from Buxom. I do love the formula, but I don't like anything like overly sparkly or duochrome -y, So I'm going to be passing on that Next I do see Chanel is gonna be in Ulta stores, which I think is an interesting move um, I feel like Ulta, Ulta to me is like the target of makeup, you know, it's just like really good quality products But they're not too expensive. So I really don't know that Chanel and Ulta like are the best fit but I mean obviously they do market research and stuff like that so who am I to talk but I don't know I really feel like Chanel belongs in Sephora not really in an Ulta store but you know whatever the Maybelline burgundy bar palette oh my gosh I feel like so bad for anyone that thinks that this palette is gonna be any good I've owned one of the Maybelline palettes before, one of those little ones, and it was awful, guys. The quality of these palettes is really, really bad. So I'm I'm going to hope for your guys' sake that they don't screw up that palette, but I don't have a lot of high hopes when it comes to those little Maybelline palettes. They finally announced the Sephora sale. Now I will have a video go up just with like my 
loves list and my actual Sephora basket, just kind of telling you what's in it. So if you guys are interested, if it's up already, I will link it for you guys. But this is their spring sale and basically what they're doing is Rouge will get 15% off Friday, April 13th through Monday, April 16th. And then again, Friday, April 20th through Monday, April 23rd. And then VIBs will get 15% off just that one weekend, Friday 420 and Monday 423. And then insiders will get 10% off that same weekend, 420 through 423. I'm sure you guys already are aware of all these dates and times and things. So, you know, get ready. I'm sure you guys are amped up, pumped up, ready to shop your little hearts out. Personally, I love the sale. I'm so glad they do it. I love that they gave VIB Rouge two weekends to shop. I think that's super duper important. I know Sephora was like playing around with how they did things. One year they did like Rouge got to shop first and then VIBs, but then Rouge didn't get to shop the same time as VIBs and then they had like new product releases and stuff and you're like spending a lot of money to be Rouge and then you're like, what the heck? Like, how come VIBs get more? So I'm glad they switched that around. Definitely very excited. Milani is jumping on the on the eyeshadow topper train and they're coming out with five liquid. It's called a lustrous finish um, hypnotic lights duochrome eye toppers. These shades do look really pretty. They're going to retail for $10.99, which is a little more than what I'd like to pay for them. I don't think I'll buy any of these on the sale day or when they launch. I'll probably buy one if I see them in the drugstore, but I won't go out of my way to go on the Milani website and buy them, but they do look like really beautiful shades. I have a lot of, you know, liquid lid toppers and I'm happy with what I have. So, so far no plans to pick those up. I am so freaking excited, you guys. I talked about Sydney Grace in my last Will I Buy It video and now I'm going to talk about them again. They said, we asked a while back what colors you wanted to see more of from us and it was overwhelmingly greens and blues. So we are launching a whole bunch of new colors at the end of the month. We have been working hard on matte shimmers, pressed pigments for this launch. There is a matte blue that I can't wait to show you guys and I'm so excited because in this sneak peek picture, if you look towards the back of the picture, there's like this neon green and uh, it's calling my name. It looks like the color of my nail. This is my thumb thumbnail, my thumbnail. <laughs> and I hope that's a matte bright green. Oh my God, I just wanna like lick that little eyeshadow. Yeah, I just said that out loud. Okay guys, breaking news. They have finally revealed the new Kat Von D anniversary palette. What is this palette called? I don't even know, but, so I had mentioned again in my last Will I Buy It video, my friend Paulina had talked about how excited she was for this palette, and I was like, mm, you know, let's see how it goes, and I'm super underwhelmed by this palette. I think the packaging will be beautiful. I might buy just to review it for you guys, but honestly, when I look at it, I'm just like, I'm getting the same feeling I got when I saw the Mario and KKW palette. Like, I really wanted to support Mario, but I was like, Really? Like, I feel like we all have that palette, you know? So I really couldn't justify buying that. And the only shade I want in this palette is that green shade that's on the top right-hand corner. It just looks like a beautiful, like, seafoam green. But, you guys, I don't need this. I totally don't need this palette. And I bet it's going to be, like, $75 or something crazy like that. So I'm going to hard pass on that. Really excited for this collab between JLo and Inglot USA. I actually don't think I own anything from Inglot. I did buy their number 77 black eyeliner a while ago, but I think that dried out and I might have decluttered it. But I'm excited. I'm hoping it's complexion products because the marketing images look like it's going to be complexion products, like the way she's like holding her hair back and you see that bronzer. So I'm really hoping she comes out with some killer highlight and bronzer shades because come on, you guys. It's JLo, like she knows what's up, okay? So very, very excited for that collaboration and I hope to hear more about it soon. Lorac is coming out with their Pro Palette 4. Now they have one, two, and three. If you guys are huge Lorac fans, I think this is a good, you know, exciting time for you. I used to love Lorac eyeshadows. Like I was obsessed. I had the first one, the second one, I think I even bought the third one. I had the Lorac Mega Pro. Like, I was obsessed with Lorac. I had the travel one, like that one that, like, folded up. I love Lorac. Like, it's insane how much I love Lorac. And then one day, one fine day, after I really started getting into makeup, 
I just didn't like their formula anymore. It was so crumbly, it was so dusty. It was a hot mess, like a heated mess. <laughs> and so now I just don't like their shadows. I'm never tempted to buy any of their products. And so when I look at this Lorac palette, I'm just like, like it just looks like it's gonna be ashy as fuck. All the shades look very, very close together. I don't know. I just, I really dislike that formula so, so much that I have no, like, inclination to buy that palette, which is great. The less I buy, the better off I am. Now, a new highlighting palette, because, God, we need more highlighters, is by Cover Effects. It's called the Gold Bar Highlighting Palette. It includes three different shades. It will be available April 8th on Ulta's website, and this honestly looks beautiful. I love the shades. I did buy Cover FX, did a palette, I think, around the holidays, and it went on sale for, like, 25 bucks. so I did buy that. I don't particularly love their formula. Like, it doesn't, like, blow me away or anything by any means, so... I think this is great, like if you guys want to buy it and Cover FX is like your favorite brand, totally go for it, but for me I'm just like, eh, been there, done that, seen it before, you know? So not really that into it. Now here is one thing I am so freaking excited about. This is from the brand, I'm going to butcher their name, it's Clea, 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 Clea? It, it's C-L-I-O-N-A-D-H, I don't know if the D is silent, because I would say Cleonada. Clea, Cleonad. Cleonad. Cleonad? I always butcher this, and I actually just picked up some of their singles. <laughs> so I don't know how I'm going to film that swatch party video, but it is coming now. They launched a palette called the Paleo Palette last year. I didn't know anything about this brand, so I remember when I saw the notification on Trend Mood, I'm like, Ugh, no, $65 for an eyeshadow palette, hell no. And it was from this brand I'd never heard of, so I had no inclination. But they are coming out with their, I'm going to butcher this, Ar Archeo palette. Archeo palette. And it says, it's been nearly a year since the release of the Paleo, Paleo palette. So it's time for something new. We'd like to introduce you guys to our newest palette, the Archeo palette. Remember back in January when we asked what you wanted to see in 2018? Many of you wanted a second version of the Paleo palette. You must have been having a prophetic moment because this has been in the works for months. The Paleo palette was inspired by prehistory. The Archeo palette is a look at history through a contemporary lens. We were very much inspired by ruins and remnants of the past, things that have been left behind. We made the color palette very different from its Paleo counterpart and we endeavored to bring you something completely different than that's currently available. We are happy to say that this time the palette has six matte shadows and six shimmers with varying finishes. What do you guys think? We want to hear your opinion. Blah, 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 blah. I'm really excited for this. The only thing though, it says it's like inspired by ruins and remnants. And I feel like that means it's going to be a warm tone palette. Because I always think of like the desert and the pyramids and things like that. Or I'm thinking like stone. So like the Mayan <laughs> ruins. So I, I'm really curious. I'm really hoping that it is like not too similar to like the modern renaissance and like every other warm tone palette. But I'm really, really excited for this launch. The sneak peek looks hella cool. Okay guys, that is everything for my Will I Buy video. Like I said, if you have any products you want me to feature in this video, definitely tag me on Instagram. That's just the easiest way for me to keep up with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will also go ahead and list, if you guys are interested in this shirt, it's so cute. It says, nevertheless, she persisted, which is literally like my favorite, one of my favorite quotes of like all time when it comes to like feminism. And I will link this down for you guys. It's from Target, super affordable. Also, my earrings are from Target. This lipstick is NARS. So I will hopefully try and remember to link all the information down below. Definitely check out my description box. It's a fun place in there. And don't forget to check out some of my other Will I Buy It videos. I have older ones that I've done and I have a full playlist of my Will I Buy It series that I hope you guys check out. Other than that, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.